Hello, I'm Asher from QRadar Support, and in this video I will show you how to manually install the QRadar Automatic Update Bundle. This bundle is posted weekly to IBM Fix Central and includes the latest DSMs, RPMs, and vulnerability catalog updates for QRadar in a single TGZ file. Administrators can use these instructions if a technical issue is preventing their automatic updates from completing, or if they are in an air gap system or have otherwise blocked internet access for their console, which prevents auto updates from installing automatically. Before you start, you must identify which bundle you need. Click the link on the screen to go to Fix Central, then under Product Group, select IBM Security. Under Select One from IBM Security, choose IBM Security Curator SIEM. Select your version and your platform. Then click Continue. Make sure Browse for Fixes is highlighted and click Continue again. Next, click Auto Update here at the top to see only the auto update packages. You can see the release dates on the right, so I'm going to click the most recent one. Here you can note the file size, which is how much space you'll need to download it onto your system. I'm going to show you how to use SFTP to download the file directly onto a console with internet connection. For air-gapped consoles, you might have to download it onto your local workstation and transfer it in-network. On the download page, click Change Download Options to ensure you have SFTP highlighted, then click Continue. Now this page contains the information you need to download it. Next, you need to log into your console. Once in the console, enter sftp-o and then the option strict host key checking equals no. Now copy the user ID on the downloads page, paste that in, followed by at and the server and paste that in as well, and enter the command. Now it'll ask for the password. Simply copy and paste that in. Now that you're connected, enter ls to list the files. I only need the tgz file, so I'm going to copy that, enter get, paste it in, and get it. If you want the signature file, simply do get and the signature file as well to get that. Remember that since this is a larger file, depending on your network, it can take a while to download. Once it's complete, exit the session by entering bye. While connected to the console, use ls to check whether the opt curator www auto updates folder exists. If it exists, remove it. And I got a list of files, so that means it exists and I need to remove it. I'll do that with rm-rf and the directory name. If it didn't exist, this would be the output that you would receive. After that, create a symbolic link between the store temp and opt curator www auto updates directories. And remember, you can navigate to the tech note to find all these commands and copy and paste them as needed. Next, run df on that auto updates directory to ensure it has enough space for the download. So I have 14 gigabytes available, and as we saw on the downloads page, I needed at least five. Next, move that downloaded file into the directory. Remember that because the file is large, it may take a second. Finally, use tar to extract the file. And if tar doesn't work on your system, you can use gunzip instead. After that, log into your QRadar user interface. Navigate to the admin tab, then auto updates, and change settings, then advanced. We need to replace the web server field with a local host and a backslash. You could also use the server IP instead, but be sure to include the HTTPS section and the trailing forward slash or it won't work. And ensure directory is auto updates with that trailing slash. That's referencing the auto updates directory we created. That's referencing the auto updates directory that we stored the auto updates file in. If you're using a proxy, configure the proxy parameters. I'm not, so I'll leave it blank and click save. You might see in your notifications a the remote web server is unavailable error but you can ignore that. Go back to check for updates, then click get new updates and okay. Now the console is going to access the update bundle we downloaded and installed. This can take up to an hour, so watch your system notifications to see when the update is complete and those you can find here. If you're installing the update bundle only this one time, you need to go back into the settings and change the web server back to https colon slash slash auto-updates.curator.ibmcloud.com slash. And you can find that in the tech note if you need to copy and paste it. 
That's necessary because future auto updates won't complete because the console will be looking at the incorrect server. If this is an air gapped system and you intend to manually install the updates every week, leave the settings as they are. Now keep in mind if you have any issues, you can find your auto updates logs in the slash var slash log slash auto updates directory in your console. They are saved as .gz files, so you have to extract them to read them. And because we link the auto updates directory to the store temp directory, the files will be removed during the automatic temporary file cleanup process run by the console, so there's no need for you to manually delete them. If you encounter any unexpected issues during this process, contact Curator Support.